all animals show movement. The ability to move has been used as a criterion to distinguish plants and animals. Plants apparently do not show movements in general, while animals move more freely. All animals do not have bones. Animals can be grouped into two categories on the basis of presence of backbone, invertebrates. Those animals in which a backbone is not present are called invertebrates. For example, snail, jellyfish, prawn, earthworm, spider, cockroach, squid, starfish, fly, sea urchin, etc. Vertebrates are those animals having a backbone. For example, fish, mammals, reptiles, birds, amphibians, etc. Let us now learn about the body movements of some invertebrates. An earthworm has a long tube-like body which is made up of many rings or segments joined end to end. Muscles are present in the body wall which helps it to elongate and contract. It has no bones but the body secretes a slimy substance which keeps its body moist protects it and also helps in its movement. Body shape is maintained by a fluid present inside the body. Thus, this type of skeleton is also called a liquid skeleton. While moving, an earthworm extends muscles of its segments which move ahead and grip the ground. Then the segments following it contract and pull the rest of the body ahead. While expansion, it also lifts its body up from the ground. Thus, earthworm moves by contraction and expansion of its muscles, which may take place at more than one place in its body at any given time. During movement, the animal is able to keep its grip on the ground because of the presence of a number of minute hair-like bristles on the undersurface of the body. The bristles are connected to the muscles. Some interesting facts. Earthworms breathe through their skin. They have no eyes, but are light-sensitive. They cannot survive in strong sunlight. If an earthworm loses any part of its body, it will grow back. Snails are famous for their slow movement. Snails have a protective shell on their back. The shell is actually the exoskeleton. The snail has a soft body and a thick, flat, muscular foot. When the snail has to move, the foot comes out of the shell through an opening in the shell. It produces mucus so that the animal gets a smooth surface to walk. The muscular foot produces a series of wave-like movement that help the snail to move forward. The shell is dragged along with the body. Some snails have been known to live up to 15 years. Snails cannot hear. Garden snails have up to 14,175 teeth. They are all located on the tongue. Snails are vegetarians. They are nocturnal animals. A cockroach does not have bones and the body is covered with a hard outer skeleton called exoskeleton. They have three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. The exoskeleton is made up of different units joined together and it helps in movement. A cockroach keeps only three legs on the ground at a given time and the other three legs next as in an ant. This gait is called the alternating tripod gait. The wings of the cockroach is attached to the muscles on its chest which move when it flies. The muscles those which move the legs are different from the muscles which move the wings. These are insects which come out at night to feed themselves. They run very fast and are considered to be the fastest running land insects. Thank you children. To know about the movement in vertebrates, click on the link given.